Hey guys, it's Henry from Real Efficiency Mixed Martial Arts here. I am currently in Europe. I'm in the beautiful Poland, as you can see, snowing outside. And I'm here to present to you the most, uh, well, to me, the most convenient and effective way, um, efficient way of um, training, keeping up with your training, your weights training while traveling. Now, if, you, if you're looking to really see many cities and explore, and do a lot of traveling you, and, and you don't have that much time to go to a gym or the extra money uh, you'd rather put that money into having more fun um, that that was my plan anyway so that's why I've traveled with I'll, I'll show you what I've got here these are called fitness sandbags right now they come in various sizes um, when I started in Spain um, in Barcelona you fill them up with sand, okay, if you, you can start your weights, uh, if the next set you need to reduce the weight, you just empty out a bit of sand, okay, and you keep them balanced. So that's a really good, really good uh, method there, and while you're traveling, you can fill the bags with your goods, clothes, shoes, whatever you need to. So you're not losing any space, you don't have to carry heavy dumbbells around with you, okay, you've got, it's, it's just the most convenient um, way that I, I could think of. And uh, especially when you're going by plane uh, from Australia, it's 24 hours on a plane, and um, yeah, you, you, and the extra additional costs uh, for more weight in your luggage, it's going to be expensive as anything. So here, you're not paying for any additional weight because you're filling with clothes anyway. And when you want to use it, take clothes out. It's when, when you set camp, uh, when you find a place to stay, uh, you're renting for a while then uh, you don't have anything in the bags anyway, so they're there for your use. Now, the problem I had with snow, um, is it too cold outside to do workouts? So, what I thought of, okay, water bottles. Okay, what can I fill the bag with? Um, obviously the water will come out, so I thought, okay, if I put multiple bottles inside, all closed, perfect. And so, the only tricky thing is, is uh, calculating the weight. Now, you can Google this information. Um, basically, the density of water changes according to the temperature. So, if uh, frozen water or really, really warm water, the warmer it gets, the more dense it will be. So, the, the, more, the more it will weigh. Okay, so four degrees, it, it's a bit of a kind of graph. You can see, you can Google it and do the calculations and find out exact weight of water. That, that, that can get that to kilograms. Now, um, so what I've done, multiple water bottles, okay, you can come with a zoom up over here, come closer, see, okay, so, and uh, what I've done is I used already, so I'm not losing any money, <laughs> so after I finish drinking them, I pack them up with uh, tap water, put them in the bags here, and uh, when I'm ready to go again, chuck the bottles out, fill the bags with clothes, too easy. So I'll just give you a quick demo. Now what you might want to do with sandbags is wear some uh, some uh, uh, gym gloves so you don't get uh, too many calluses on your hands there. But uh, for a demo, I wouldn't bother. Now, okay, you can use it for multiple lifts, okay? Um, bicep curls, okay? Depends what your what your aim is. Obviously, me, I'm. I'm Looking to bulk up at the moment, so I'm doing slow lifts down over count of three, over three seconds, hold one second, up over three seconds, hold. So yeah, you can use it for power as well. You can use it, you can uh, you can double up, do do supersets, uh, whatever you want. It's just the same as dumbbells. Now, um, as I go to the next set, if I need to reduce the weight, simple. Open the bags, take out. You have to do the calculation beforehand so you know how much weight you're taking out. Okay, take it out, close it back again, onto the second set, etc. Now I can use these for, uh, what have I got, biceps, I use them for triceps, 
Okay, from here. Okay, uh, you can use it for you can use it for text as well, right? And uh, you've got multiple ways to see how this is going to fall. Yeah, you can use it for chest press, right? Obviously, a bench would be preferable so you can get that extra extension. Right, the ground is a little bit in the way here, but you know, gotta make do with what you got. You're traveling, right? So from here, make sure you arch your back. Lunges. Okay, for your legs, you've got lunges, right? Okay. Should we keep your back straight? Right. Um, squats, okay? This might be a bit tricky because uh, the bags are kind of in the way of the knees, but the jeans are tight. Okay. Right, uh, quite basic. Um, we can do, we can work our back with just, just standing up right row. Okay, so from here. Okay. Okay, just pull those elbows straight back. Okay, keeping your head up, spine straight. All the way, so you can feel the tension for your back. Um, okay, we, you've got shoulders. You can do the you do the military press, right? So from here. Uh, what else can you do? You've got legs, shoulders, triceps, back. Chest, biceps, abs, okay, and you can also do sit ups, okay. Same deal. Get weights, keep to your chest, okay. Same deal. If you're working a, if you uh, bulking up routine, you don't do fast sit ups. Not gonna get anywhere. So slow and controlled, just like every other lift. Okay, so that's um, that's pretty much that. I mean, you're not gonna get the most variety out of your training because um, you're limited to about one or two exercises for each muscle group. That's the only disadvantage of going to a gym. But for traveling, it's a really good method. And the other benefit is, if you want air conditioning in Warsaw, too easy. All right, well, thanks, thanks for watching and um, stay tuned.